breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough blessings to you on the highway. I wanted to come and talk to you about something very powerful, and that is this. Write this down. This is a Dr. Breakthroughism, a.k.a. Writer Downer, and that is simply this. Breakthroughs occur when you focus on solutions. Come on, somebody. Breakthroughs occur when you focus on solutions and asking empowering questions of yourself, of God, and to others. Ooh, that's a Dr. Breakthroughism, a.k.a. Writer Down. Let me say it again. I said breakthroughs occur. Okay. Uh, by the way, thank God for these cars literally drive themselves. Although if I keep my hand off the wheel, it'll start saying, put your hand back on the wheel. Although it's driving by itself. But, hey, that's part of life. Okay, so again, breakthroughs occur when you beat the bullies in your brain. Let me say it again. That's a different one, right? But breakthroughs occur when you beat the bullies in your brain. And what I'm talking about today, which, by the way, some of you need to do that because, you know, uh, your greatest opponent oftentimes is your own mind, a negative mind. And so one of the things I teach is MMA, mental martial arts or mental self-defense, and that is learning how to defend yourself against your greatest opponent, which is your undisciplined or subconscious mind, and literally how to transform your greatest opponent into your greatest ally. Because scripture says, as a man thinketh. So when you can think properly, right, when you can have your mind focused and thinking on the right things. So again, but the mo this morning we're talking about, and again, you want to write this down. Remember, note takers are money makers, but Dr. Breakthrough says action takers are bigger money makers. So it's great to take notes, but even more important is good to take action on the notes that you take. Oh, <laughs> did he just drop that one? There you go. So again, breakthroughs occur. When you focus on solutions and when you ask empowering questions of God, of yourself, and of others. And by the way, many of you, I want to thank you for the uh, birthday, let's get birthday, anniversary blessings. You know, yesterday, my beautiful ABCD, my adorable brown caramel delight, my angelic blessed delicacy. <laughs> uh, uh, we uh, had our 15th anniversary. That's 5,400 and 75 days of breakthrough love. By the way, what we call breakthrough love is simply this, and that is two imperfect people perfectly committed, get this now, to breaking through any barrier that would try to hinder our relationship. Mm. Should I say the one again? Can, can I get a heart? Can I get a like? Can I get a share? Let me say it again. I said breakthrough love is simply this. Is two imperfect people who are perfectly fitted or perfectly committed, rather, to breaking through any barrier that would try to hinder their love. See, that's what breakthrough love is. And so, again, but today we're talking on the topic. And, again, I want to thank you. We had a great anniversary yesterday, and uh, we did several things. As a matter of fact, we, we got a couple's massage. We got a um, uh, pedicure done. I didn't get my toes painted, <laughs> you know, we went to the gym together, went out to eat, and uh, several other wonderful, incredible things that I will tell y'all about here on this line, uh, anyway, but if you read the Song of Solomon, you may find out, but anyway, so we had a great time, and I told her, I was like, baby, if I didn't have a penny, I'd be a rich man being married to a woman like you, but let me get back on my topic, because I don't want to keep you too long, so again, breakthroughs occur when you focus on solutions, and asking empowering questions of yourself, of God, and of others. See, here's the thing. So many times, if you don't focus on the solution, guess what? You're focusing on the problem. Now, breakthroughs occur when you focus on a solution. Breakdowns occur when you focus on a problem. See, what you focus on the longest, what you think about and what you talk about the longest becomes the strongest. And so many people, they talk about their problems. They think about it over and over again. As a matter of fact, I tell people when it comes to your storms, by the way, write this down, storm, S-T-O-R-M. A storm is something that only remains momentarily. Oh, come on, somebody. Storm, something that only remains momentarily. See, storms don't come to last. Storms come to pass. But the reason why they linger in some people's lives is simply this. Are you ready? You might want to write this down because they keep 
rehearsing it. I mean, every time, you, you know, some of these people, every time you talk to them, they want to tell you about their storm, right? So don't rehearse it. And number two, don't curse it, right? Oh, man, and like, just, no, no, don't rehearse it. Don't curse it, right? And don't nurse it. You know, oh, woe is me, right? And they just keep over and over and over again. No, listen, real quick. So don't curse it. Don't rehearse it. Don't nurse it, but rather give it to God and let him reverse it. Oh, <laughs> did you hear me? I said, when it comes to storms, when it comes to your problems, when it comes to your heartaches, my friend, don't curse it. Don't nurse it. Don't rehearse it. Matter of fact, most of the time in prayer meetings, so-called, is nothing but people rehearsing their all their negative problems and issues. Baby, we ain't got to hear about all that stuff to pray about, to pray for you. Come on, somebody. Tell us what you want, and let's pray for that. And by the way, the breakthrough, ooh, this is good. See, watch this. Many people never get a breakthrough. Here's why. Because they focus too much on what they want to break through. And again, we say we want to break through something. That means we're in a state of, of frustration because we feel like we should be further ahead. Come on, am I telling the truth? Give me a heart. Give me a like. Give me a share if you care. Hey, listen, by the way, will you zoom in? Let me know where you're zooming in from. And uh, and if you missed this, hit hashtag replay. But somebody needs what I'm saying this morning. Matter of fact, you listen to me. You need it. I need it myself. Uh, so anyway, um, so so the breakthrough occurs again. Um, the breakthroughs occur when you focus on the solutions. Come on now. Hey, Dr. Frank, God bless you. It, 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 the breakthrough occurs when you focus on solutions. Hey, Brittany, thank you for joining us. When you focus on solutions, get this now, and you ask empowering questions, I'm going to break this down in a minute, of God to yourself and others. So, again, focus. The breakthroughs occur when you focus on solutions. Isn't it easy when you're in the midst of a storm? Isn't it easy when you're in the midst of problems just to focus on that, right? But guess what, my friend? Isn't it easy when you get a negative report from the doctor to focus on the, well, this thing that you, quote, unquote, have that's going to take you? Isn't it easy? But listen, my friend, instead of focusing on the problem, you got to learn on purpose to focus on the solution. Hello, somebody. And instead of, instead of, okay, my guess is talking to me. <laughs> hey, by the way, I, when I, I, I drive using the GPS, but I live my life based on God's GPS, and God's GPS is gentle, prompting spirit. And you shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it, when you turn to the left and when you turn to the right. So, all righty. So, again, breakthroughs occur when you focus on solutions. I need you on purpose to focus on solutions. I, I know it's easy to focus on the problem. But you got to focus on the solution. And listen, the breakthrough occurs when you focus and focus, F-O-C-U-S, firmly on course until successful. See, not firmly on course until stressful. Some folk, uh-oh, let me let me talk again. Okay, but some folk, they do fine until the hard times hit, right? They, they're firmly on course until stressful. No, focus. Hey, I'm just entering Arkansas, so if you're in Arkansas, Blessings on you. Okay, so focus firmly on course until successful. See, you got to focus on the solution and say, "I'm listen. I'm gonna keep focusing on the solution until I'm successful." Write it down. This other acronym for focus: fixated on creating ultimate success. Hey, Doctor Tassel, God bless you. Focus fixated on creating ultimate success. So again, breakthroughs occur when you focus on the solution. See, stop just keep talking about the problem all the time and the frustration. No, breakthroughs occur when you focus on the solution. You ask empowering, not disempowering, empowering questions to God, to yourself, and others. Like, for instance, I sit, well, I'll go through a hard time. Why me, God? Why me? Now, have you ever done anything like that? I, I know you haven't, right? But but I'd be like, why me? Why me? And it's kind of like, it's like, what, you got somebody else in mind? <laughs> right? But... See, when you say, why me, that's a disempowering question in the mind. It doesn't, it can't come up with a good answer. And so, so it's maybe, man, man, I'm just no good. Or maybe I'm, I'm just not deserving or, you know what I mean? Or I just deserve to be going through these hard. No, don't ask the disempowering question. That takes power away. Ask an empowering question like, what can I learn from this? Ooh, ask a 
empowering question like, how can I ensure this doesn't happen again? Ask an empowering question. So again, breakdowns occur when you focus on the problems. Breakthroughs occur when you focus on the solution. Breakdowns occur when you ask disempowering questions. Breakthroughs occur when you ask empowering questions. Breakdowns occur when you just try. Breakthroughs occur when you're focused and committed. By the way, try, T-R-Y, write this down, Talk, talking real yucky. That's my acronym for try, T-R-Y. Here it is now, the second one, the real yo-yo. <laughs> See, try, T-R-Y, the real yo-yo, try, T-R-Y, talking real yucky. And when you say try, see, the try, the try is giving your mind an excuse. So when it gets hard, you can just say, you know, I gave it a try. No, people that break through, we're committed. Listen, we're like, we're going to do this, my friend. I mean, my mind is made up. The sun rises in the east. It sets to the west. The Pope is a Catholic, and I'm going to do this thing. So, again, breakdowns occur. I hope somebody's writing this down because, again, these are some powerful Dr. Breakthroughisms, a.k.a. writer downers. But you don't just want to write it down because, again, note takers are money makers. But Dr. Breakthrough says, but action takers are bigger money makers. And the only reason to take notes is so you can take action on the notes that you took. <laughs> is that good or good or super good? Can I get a heart? Can I get a like? Can a brother get a share up in here? Come on now. So, again, breakdowns occur when you focus on the problem. Breakthroughs occur when you focus on the solution. Have you... Have you been focusing more on the solution than on the problem? That might be the problem. Ooh, that's good right there. If you focus on the problem more than focusing on the solution, that might be the real problem. See, the real problem is not the problem. The real problem is you're not focusing. Get this now. You're not, you're not determining. You're not, you're not disciplining your mind to just focus on the solution. And also, if you ask, like I said, disempowering questions, you break down. You ask empowering questions, you break through. Instead of saying, why me? Ask, what can I do to make sure this doesn't happen again? What can I learn through this? By the way, ooh, here's another one. Are you ready? Here's another Dr. Breakthroughism, a.k.a. Ryder Downer. When you learn to grow through what you're going through, that's when you speed up and ensure your breakthrough. Ooh, ooh, come on, Doc. Say that again, okay? I said, when you learn to grow through, See, I used to groan and gripe. As long as you're groaning and griping through, you ain't going nowhere, honey. But instead of groaning and griping through what you're going through, learn to grow through what you're going through, and that will ensure and speed up your breakthrough. Who, who just needed that? Somebody need. Oh, come on, somebody. So, come, give me a heart. Give me a like. Give me a share if you care. I'm dropping it like it's holy up in here. So, again, I got to get ready to close, but, again, you want to break through or break down? Nobody wants to break down, but I got to be honest with you. Sometimes breaking down is part of the breakthrough process. See, scripture says, unless a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it'll bring forth much fruit. So sometimes God has to humble us before he can honor us. Hello, somebody. But we, we take the break down as it's time to throw in the towel and quit. No, it's time to get back up. Hello. I like what Zig Ziglar said years ago. Nobody ever drowns by falling into the water. You drown by staying in the water. Come on now. You, you don't drown by get going into a storm. It's by staying in the storm. And I said earlier, I'm going to say it again. Don't stop cursing. Stop nursing. Stop rehearsing and give it to God and let him reverse it. So the breakthroughs occur when you focus on the solutions and you focus on asking empowering questions of yourself, of God, and of others. My friend, I think if you apply what I just said, you'll get a breakthrough. See, I'm Dr. Stan Harris, a.k.a. Dr. Breakthrough, and I always give a disclaimer, I can't provide a breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. However, when people follow the breakthrough prescription, God provides it. And my friend, a breakthrough is exploding through barriers that at one time seemed insurmountable. And I know that my formula works because I've worked it myself. <laughs> Scripture says, physician, heal thyself. That's what I've had to do over and over again. By the way, as Dr. Breakthrough, I needed more breakthroughs than anybody else I knew. And for this month of May, M-A-Y, my acronym for May, make abundance yours. Come on, somebody. May. Ooh, is it, you like that? Make abundance yours. May, manifesting abundant yeses 
in my business. I'm going to get yeses. When I talk to people, I want to hear yes. And by the way, I, I'm a yes man to God, so and you ought to be a yes man and yes woman to God. Yes, Y-E-S, you expect success. Yes, Y-E-S, you expedite success. Yes, Y-E-S, you experience success. Yes, Y-E-S, you embody success. All right, y'all, I got to go. I got to go, but I know one thing for sure. Business is booming and checks are zooming. I'm happy on purpose, just like you're going to be when you get started with me. So, again, my business is all about empowering you to do your business better. And so, my friend, I'd like to be your breakthrough mentor. By the way, write this down as a close. Your breakthrough comes faster when one of your mentors is a minister and 10th degree black belt grandmaster. Oh, I got to say that again. I just want to hear it myself. I said your breakthrough comes faster when one of your mentors is a minister and 10th degree black belt grandmaster. And by the way, as a breakthrough mentor, <laughs> a breakthrough mentor, sometimes we seem like a tormentor until you become an implementer. Oh, come on now. I said sometimes the breakthrough mentor, we seem like a tormentor until you become an implementer. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Hit heart, hit like, hit share if you care. And if not, as I keep it to yourself. So remember, I'm too blessed to be depressed, too blessed to be stressed, too glad to be sad, too anointed to be disappointed. I'm too elated to be agitated, too legit to quit, too grounded to be confounded, too grateful to be hateful, too gifted to be restricted, too good to be withstood. And here's the best part. I'm too saved not to be getting paid. <laughs> what time is it? It's breakthrough time.